Sometimes it's difficult to say what we need to. Even some simple things can be a threat in our conversation. For example, take this. Present a simple. This appeared in this text and it can affect your understanding. Do you want to know an easy way to talk and write this? Check it out. Canada Smart Mind is a Canadian school to help solving your doubts. You can help us by sending this video to your friends. In the description, you have a link to reach us. You have links for Canadian companies searching for employees outside of Canada. This is what Grammar has to say. We use the present simple to talk about actions we see as long-term or permanent. It is a very common and very important tense. Here, we are talking about regular actions or events. They drive to the office every day. She doesn't come here very often. The news usually starts at 6 every evening. Do you usually have bacon and eggs for breakfast? Now, check the text ahead to improve your pronunciation. Great outdoors is great escape during coronavirus crisis. From VOA Learning English, this is the Health and Lifestyle Report. In 2020, many people in the United States found an escape by going out into nature and open places. Hiking trails, parks, and other outdoor spaces were very busy with people searching for fresh air during coronavirus health crisis restrictions. People who were staying at home and whose gyms were closed took their exercise to the great outdoors. Sports, such as hiking, biking, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, camping, tennis, and golf, all became more popular. In 2021, that seems to be continuing. People are still finding ways to play outdoors within coronavirus restrictions and stay-at-home guidelines. The Outdoor Foundation is part of the Outdoor Industry Association, a trade group. It released numbers comparing Americans' outdoor activities in 2019 and 2020. The group said 8.1 million more Americans went hiking, 7.9 million more went camping, and 3.4 million more people went freshwater fishing in 2020 than in the year before. In 2020, the Foundation's research also found a 52.9% increase in outdoor activity for most age groups and all income levels. It's both heartening and a little bit mind-blowing to think how things are going this year, said Richard Hodges. He is the director at White Pine Touring in Park City, Utah. Cross-country skiing has become much more popular. It is skiing that is done over the countryside instead of down a mountain. Every single day of the week is like a weekend day, said Hodges. The park in Utah where he works has about 20 kilometers of paths. He said there seems to be a limitless interest right now in cross-country skiing. It's been really fun, a lot of work, but really fun. All we're doing is trying to get people outside to go play in the snow. The popularity of some outdoor sports comes as no surprise to Sandra Mara. She is the president and business chief of the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. It is a nonprofit organization that helps keep up the Appalachian Trail in the eastern United States. More hikers have been walking along the Appalachian Trail since the beginning of the health crisis. 
the trail is about three thousand five hundred forty kilometers long and goes through fourteen states it gets more than three million visitors each year mara told the associated press that many people who never really exercised outdoors found easy to use trails and spaces near their homes however she warns people not to do too much we're finding a lot of people are out there not prepared for just how rugged this trail is it's not a walk on the bike trail in the middle of the city she said she also warns to be careful when going out for a long nature walk she suggests hikers study weather reports and information about wildlife in the area. They should wear the right clothes for the right weather, and they should also bring supplies and maps. Golf remains popular as well. The U.S. National Golf Foundation said that Americans played almost 502 million rounds of golf in 2020. The number of golfers in the U.S. increased by half a million in 2020 to 24.8 million, the group found. The sport also grew around the world. Golf Australia said golfing has increased up to 15% since the restrictions went into effect. Already popular in Sweden, the number of golf rounds played increased 42%. And Golf Olivar de la Hinojosa in Spain had an increase of 30%. Ana Fernandez de Diego is a Spanish professional golfer and teaches the sport. She said the level of growth in the sport has not been seen before. Golf is one of the things that people can do without any risks now, she said. Tennis is also more popular. The United States Tennis Association, or USTA, said that in 2020 there were nearly 3 million first-time players. In all, more than 21.6 million Americans played the game on tennis courts last year. Mike Douse is chief of the USTA. He said on its website that many people see tennis as the ideal social distancing sport. From hiking to tennis and golf to cold weather sports, businesses are happy to see the outdoor exercising activities get more popular. Mara, of the Appalachian Trail Conservancy, also sees it as a great thing for the environment. With more people using the outdoors, it may be more likely they will take care of it. This is the new future for us, she said, the new reality. And that's the Health and Lifestyle Report. I'm Anna Mateo. And I'm Katie Weaver. Words in this story. Trail. A simple path through a forest, field or natural area. Gym. Gymnasium. A room or building that has equipment and space for sports activities and exercise. Income. Money from work, investment, or business. Heartening. Something that causes people to feel happier or more hopeful. Mind-blowing. Very confusing exciting or shocking, rugged, having a rough, uneven surface, ideal, exactly right for a purpose. Leave your comments about this video, this way I could know what you like and what I can do better to help you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.